Here we have my semi-homemade CO2 reactor system for planted aquaria. The first portion of the system is right here, the CO2 canister. It's connected to this regulator here. It goes through a solenoid valve so that it only pumps into the aquarium when the lights are on. Into the needle valve and then here to the bubble counter. The bubble counter demonstrates that I have approximately one bubble of CO2 every second, more or less. This is typical CO2 usage for a heavily planted aquarium, but it can be adjusted with the needle valve. From there, it goes through this pressure line up to the reactor chamber. The reactor chamber is connected to my Eheim canister filter. On the intake section, I have it hooked up to a bucket right now for testing purposes, but for most people this would be representative of the aquarium itself. The bubbles enter the reactor chamber here through a quick connect fitting that I've set into some, uh, some PVC parts. The PVC parts are available at any hardware store and for about five dollars altogether. The clear plastic section is a old gravel vacuum tube that I had laying around. So as the CO2 bubbles into the chamber it is met by the downward stream of water where the bubble gets churned up at the top into tiny little micro bubbles which will eventually make their way down the tube into the Eheim and completely dissolve into the aquarium. This system was very simple to construct and maintain and it ensures 100 percent dissolution of CO2 into the aquarium where it can be utilized by plants. This is much more efficient than simply bubbling into the aquarium as much of the gas is lost at the surface of the water. Thank you.